have to set up my dashboard and get my headphones going. And not drop my mic. Excuse me. Hmm, it's really not holding up today. Let's just see if this is running okay. And I've got to change my uh, title. So let me do that and I'll have him run around. Or her run around while I do that. Where are you, Twitch? My dashboard. Change the title to Dreams. Yes, four. There's no way to change what game it is. Like, I know you can on. Let me see if I can do it. You can on the regular Twitch dashboard. Like on the um, the web, or I mean the the desktop. Dashboard. Creator dashboard. Can I put what game this is? I put Dreams PS4. But can you change what game it is? Doesn't seem like it. PS4. But I can't change the game. I don't know what I'm doing. How well are you running, Dreams? Of course I get an ad. Well, that's great. Um, so we are going to test out the creative mode, mainly because I didn't do it yesterday. And I want to make Kirby. Quite frankly, I just want to try to make a Kirby. Okay, link copied. Share on Twitter.
playing some Dreams PS4. Can I make Kirby? I don't know. Here we go. Let's make a Kirby. Do you have to... I don't know. Oh, do we want to go dream surfing? I, I kind of want to try to make something. What is this uh, notification? Look at all the wonderful things you found. There's lots more. Oh, that looks fancy. Where's nice for it to go? What is spinning it? It's like spinning around. Okay, let's just go um, play a dream sheet. Now we have to do a tutorial to be able to use this stuff. I should have done it earlier in the day. Now I'm tired. So you want to learn the ropes of dream shaping, but you don't know where the tools are on the shelf. Or how to use that intriguing gadget. Or you want to know what that strange contraption over there does. Architect, assist us. Hello. Ah, hello, Architect. Hello, Queenie. Uh, why am I a squirrel? Just a temporary physical form for you. I like it. It's cute. Well, thank you. It's better than the last one. Now. Show this dream shaper how to unleash their creative powers. Done! Follow me, dreamer. Oh, it's so exciting that you're here. I have been really looking forward to this. There is so much to show you. Gameplay, animation, art. There's no limit to what's possible. This is the Dreams Workshop. Which controller do you have? First, getting to know the basics. Motion controllers. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'll just know the basics with this. Tutorial. I hope you've got your imp under control. I've got some spectacular tricks to show you. And some that are just all right. Make sure you follow the steps carefully if you want to get the most out of this tutorial. It's not just about getting to the end. It's the journey that counts. Shortly, you'll be in edit mode, creating and editing your own scenes. First, I'm going to show you how to move around the scene. Welcome to edit mode. You can see that we're in edit mode because the assembly mode icon is in the top left of the screen. If you ever need to remind yourself of the controls, select that icon with the X button. And select it again to hide the controls. You can also see the assembly menu at the top of the screen. That's where you'll find all the tools and modes you need to construct your scenes. The assembly menu is opened and closed by pressing the square button. You won't need it just yet, so go ahead and close it with square. First, I'm going to show you how to move around in edit mode, as it's a bit different from play mode. To give you something to do, I've hidden a puppet somewhere in this scene, which we'll need in later tutorials. I've left some clues to help you find it. Before we search for the first clue, let's start by looking around. In front of you, you can see a floating island with some shapes on it. 
If you move the right stick to the left and right, you can look around the scene. Is there an orange cone around here? You found it. There's a blue cube around here somewhere too. See if you can find that. Now try looking up with the right stick to find the pink pyramid. That's the one. Okay, let's turn back towards the shapes floating on the island. My first clue is hidden somewhere on this island. Move around the island using the left stick. Push it left and right to move sideways, and up and down to move forwards and backwards. Remember, left stick to move, right stick to look around. Easy! If your imp ever feels off center, hold the options button to recenter it. Can you find anything here that looks like a clue? Once you've found the clue, you're ready to move on to the next step. If you want to re-watch this step, you can. Hover your ip. So what's the next step? Did you find that clue? Yes, this is right. It was on the back of one of those shapes. Looks a bit like a rocket. I do love a cryptic message. Why don't you look around with the right stick for any rocket-related goings-on? Ah, look over there. On that island in the distance. Yeah, we Those moved the thing. Those shapes look a lot like the ones in the clue. Go on, fly over there and check it out. Uh... Remember, push up on the left stick to move forward and use the right stick to change direction. And don't forget, you can recalibrate your imp by holding the options button. Once you reach the island, make sure you're looking right at the cylinder and the cone. When you're ready, move on to the next step. Think back to the first clue. The cone was on top of the cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. But how can you move them? Well, in edit mode, you interact with everything using your imp the very tip of your imp's pointy part. See how there's an icon in a circle there? That shows you what tool the imp is using. Right now, it's the arrows icon, which means the imp is using the move tool. That's the default tool in edit mode, because editing a scene means moving things around a lot. Let's see the imp in action. First, grab the cone. Hover over it with your imp, and hold R2. Now your imp has the cone, use the controller's motion sensor function to move it around. Try to put it on top of the cylinder. We just did. Like the clue. Use the left stick to move the cone backwards and forwards. Objects in scenes can intersect and overlap, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Get it roughly into place, and I'll show you how to refine it later. Once you're done, you're ready for the next step. Now, that looks pretty good, at least from this angle. Creating scenes in three-dimensional space means that you should always look at your creations from different angles. The easiest way to do that is with the grab cam. Instead of moving the objects you grab, grab cam moves your point of view around them. Try it out on the cone. Hover over it, then press and hold R1. Pushing the left and right sticks moves your point of view around the cone. Easy! Now that you can get a proper look at it, check that the cone is on straight. Unlike mine. Let go of R1 to stop using the grab cam. And use R2 to make any adjustments you need. 
Here's a little secret called nudge. If you don't press R2 all the way down, but just hold it lightly, you can move the cone slowly, giving you finer control. Once you're happy the cone is straight, you can move on to the next step. Couldn't do this in a Nintendo game these days. Could in the GameCube days. Still doesn't work that great though on this. Hey, look at that. Another clue. It's a molecule. Oh. I know because I put it there. Just play along with me. Why don't you look around with the right stick and see if you can find another molecule? We found it. There's one. Over there by that island. You're hot on the trail. Hmm. It'll take forever to get there using the left stick. Luckily you can use the grab cam to get there faster. Way ahead of you. Now. Hover your imp over that <laughs> orange cube in the distance. Hold R1 to grab it with the grab cam. Can I recolor this? Stuff? Then gently push up on the left stick to zoom right over. Just keep holding R1 until you've made it all the way to the island. Trash. See, told you it was quicker. But there's an even faster way to zip around scenes. It's just like the grab cam, but you'll also need to hold L1. You see, L1 is a very special button. You know the way that on a computer keyboard, holding down shift changes what some keys do? Well, in dreams, holding down L1 changes what the other buttons do. Maybe it's best if I show you. You yeah. see that rocket you built earlier? Hover your imp over it. Now hold L1, and then press R1, the grab cam button. You don't have to hold it or use the stick this time. Whoa! Fast, huh? Try it out again on the return journey. Hover your imp over the orange cube and hold L1. Then press R1 to zoom right on over. Now that you know how to move around quickly, see if you can find the next clue somewhere on this island. Remember to use the grab cam to look around the whole island. Once you've found the clue, you can move on. We found it. Did you find the last clue? It was on the back of the orange cube. And it says, what on earth could it mean? If I had eyes, I would wink at you right now. Hmm, I can't see any other green trash cans around. Unless... Of course, the trash can is the icon for the delete tool. Uh -huh. I'm so devious. That must mean you need to delete the orange cube. You can delete anything in edit mode using the triangle button. Just hover your imp over the cube, then press triangle. And it's gone. These tools are powerful. Delete the orange sphere next. If you change your mind or delete the wrong thing, you can press undo, which is the left directional button. And if you want to redo, just press the right directional button. You can undo and redo pretty much anything, not just deletions. Oh look, there was a clue hidden in the queue. An arrow. Hmm. That was my final clue telling you where to go. The island right above us. I know you're an expert in moving around with the left and right stick now, but I've got one more technique to show you. Remember that holding L1 changes what the grab cam does. It can also change what the left stick does. Normally it moves you backwards and forwards in the direction you're facing. But if you hold L1 at the same time, the left stick will make you move up and down instead. Okay. Try getting up to the last island that way. Position yourself so you're looking at the orange arrow, which is pointing up. Right. Here's the puppet I reserved for you. 
Let's call her Connie, because she looks like a cone. We need to help Connie walk through the door to complete this tutorial. Mm -hmm. To do that, we're going to have to switch over to play mode. Remember, right now, you're in edit mode. This is where you create and edit your scenes. In play mode, you can experience the scene just like a player would if they found it in the Dreamiverse. You can't make any changes in play mode, but you can take control of characters and try oh, excuse out what you Switch over to play mode now. Just press the options button on your controller. Hover over the controller icon with your imp, then press X to select it. To control a puppet in a scene, you first need to possess it with R2. Try that now. She's full of beans, isn't she? I picked her just for you. Walk her around a bit, then take her through the door to finish this tutorial. Oh, looks like the door's too high. There's more to Connie than meets the eye, though. She might be able to reach it if you make her jump by pressing X. Oops. I remember now. I always forget to put the steps in. Better head back into edit mode. Dang you. To switch back to edit mode, just press options again, then select the pencil icon. Did you see those stairs on the island below us? Those might come in handy now, so strafe down to them with L1 and the left stick. Oh. If you've deleted the stairs, you can use undo by pressing the left directional button. Just keep pressing it until the stairs come back. Okay, press and hold R2 to grab them. Now without letting go, hold L1 and use the left stick to strafe back up to Connie. Place the stairs in front of the door and let go of R2. There, that should do it. It's back to play mode now. Remember, press options, then select the controller icon with X. You'll be switching back and forth between edit and play mode a lot when you're creating your own scenes. It's a great way to test out your scenes, making sure they look and work just how you want them to. Okay, I think we can get Connie to the next lesson now. All we need to do is walk her through the door. Possess Connie with our... Yay! Can we make levels now? Continue tutorials. Blech. Use a reward in our home space. Want to carry on with the fundamentals? You can also press the circle button to see other topics. Now to explore the wider world of dream shaping. In a moment, you'll be creating and editing your own scenes in edit mode. Yay! Scenes are like levels in a game, or scenes in a movie. They're made up of elements. Elements are like props, sets, music, effects, and characters. Anything that you can build inside a scene and save the dream works. Scenes are connected together to form dreams. And these dreams can be found when you go dream surfing. Oops.
ะครับMode, paint mode, coat mode, style mode. Okay. Let's sculpt them. Can we sculpt them? Probably not with this controller, because L1 rotates forward, as you can see. I suppose, maybe I can, maybe I can, I'm just pressing L1 right now. It does the forward, and then I can do the sideways and stuff. Um, tools, add, subtract, shapes. I don't understand. I, I don't know. Fill donut. I just want to make Kirby. going to be beautiful, isn't it? Hi! This is already looking beautiful. dun 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 No, no, go in there. Beautiful. Okay. Let's undo and no, no, no. Ah, not you. Okay. We want just like a circle. Do you have a circle? They have a sphere. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that. Well, you can rotate it with this too. Okay. You don't have to use the L two. Well, that helps. Okay, uh, can I change the color of it? Pink. There's no way to, like, get, like, more detailed color. Like, can I get, like, I want pink, and I want that pink. But is there a way to get it to be a little less? Oh, there's a color wheel. I don't know. I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, can we get y'all lined up, Kirby? Dang, 
this is this is really annoying. I guess that's the key, is just, uh... Like, I want to push it out. How do I... How do I get it to go out? camera to go up there. Okay. I guess he's a confused Kirby. Okay. Do we have any other shapes we could use? The these for his uh, okay. small shoes. Pretty much has to be this way. And man, this is difficult. I probably should get the um, touch controllers. Maybe it would be easier with them. Do I want this though as his feet? I don't know. Let's just do the circle. weird as it is because we can still kind of like draw them right It's okay. It's good enough. <laughs> All right. So now we got to do his mouth. Okay. Zoom. Got to do his eyes and his mouth. Edit the shape. Okay. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? R2. Controlled scale grip. There's got to be a way to do it. Okay, grab, go to. I think we're going to have to go to, through more tutorials, but, uh, no. Okay. 
Okay, we need black. Okay, here's the color wheel, which is what we were looking for earlier. What? Okay. Worry. Zoom in. Zoom back out a little bit. Oh my god, this is this is really difficult. There's got to be an easier way, but I just don't know. This looks horrible. But we're not going for style points. Okay, I need you. And I need white. White? Is that white? I don't I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, that's not right. Okay. going for huge style points. much. Good enough. Not really, but 
Again, we're not going for style points. Yay! Perfect. How do I save them? How do I save my guy? Save him. I know this thing's weird, but whatever. Alright, I'm good for now. I just wanted to try to make Kirby. I don't know how to get out of here. Quick save. Cabby. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Alright, I've had enough fun with that for now. We'll go surfing. See if there's still no Kirby levels. Still no Kirby. How about Nintendo? Not that you need these, I'm just saying. Easy things to look for. about sec boy hello sec boy you can jump that's all you can do. Let's jump in the lava. Can you read a sign? I guess you can. It says death. Good job, sack boy. No 
music in that section. Okay. Let's see what the other level was. This one. Whoa. Yeah, are there two player games in this? Single player, because we don't have a second controller. Oh, I stink at Pong. Excuse me, whatever this game is. No, not uh, Pong. Will the AI lose? Oh, they will lose, eventually. Yeah, so there's like almost like a set time when the AI will fail. Hey, okay, you almost didn't get that one. Come back, AI. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not lose. Is it best of seven in plan? What? Oh. He's got seven. Maybe it's two eleven. Hmm. Yeah, it looked like you should have. Ah. Very tough for the human to get the first one. Oh. I lost to a computer. But it was good. <laughs> oh. It said R2 and R1 are the paddles. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Flashing lights, warning. I probably won't play this one long because of the flashing lights.
Oops. I need to send two of them out. <laughs> Game over. Yeah. It was good though, but I don't know about those lights. Alright. Play a few more of these and I'll quit out. What the heck am I doing? Can I retry? Okay. I think I want the green. This one. It's another flashy light on a dark background one. Maybe my my room's just too dark. Dash. Let's see what this one is. Collect as many gold coins as you can in 90 seconds. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna kind of take a look around. Alright, we got peg legs. I don't know how we're walking with them. Here. Oh, could we double jump the whole time? Oh, I didn't know that. and holes. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Why don't you just keep spitting them out? This is dumb. fell into the gap, so I don't know what we're doing. I'm quite out. Um, helicopter. None. Airplane. Hello, birdie. go anywhere. You can see our shadow on the horizon. Oh, so if you jump out of it, they'll teleport you back in there. Ah, fishies. It's too bad you can't jump into the water. Spider's Lair. and it might just be a video. <gasps> Excuse me.
See if we can get it to go to another screen, or if this is it. Sure looks like this is everything. The night in Paris. Music, just music. Can I listen to it out here? some books.
nothing. As you can tell, I'm really good at pool. Oops. <laughs> I am amazing. Just like all my gaming. It's good though. But you can do thumbs down. I didn't realize you could do that. Maybe they add that after you've played a few, because they're like, you can't tell what's good or not. So they don't let you thumb mass thumbs down. Um what was I gonna look up? I could do Pac-Man. Oh, what was the other one that I was thinking of? Well... Didn't want a uh, mini molecule level though. Accelerate R2.
I'm trying to break levels. It's a cool effect, the like um, blurry type thing. Obviously, alien inspired, I like it. I definitely want to play an alien level. Ooh. Spacecraft. get really scary if aliens pop up. If aliens pop up, I'm quitting. So is that it? Is this? I see you. What do we do? Beat it, but bye bye. I gotta change my uh, guy though. Let me do that. My imp, customize. Ooh, some of those imps had um, kitty ears on them. How do I put kitty ears on them? I want kitty ears. I want those. How do I get that but with a green imp? Bye-bye. 